Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Redstone Studios. Whether you're looking to just record some tracks or push your creative boundaries, Redstone Studios has you covered. They're friendly, professional, and they produced my second album, Postcards from the Sun, from start to finish. Now, on with the show! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're checking out Untied, the new EP from One Ton Project released on Christmas Day this year. A definite departure from their previous music, Untied shows the band's acoustic and moody side, yet the complex songwriting they're known for definitely shines through. I'm looking forward to this. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Formed over 11 years ago, One Ton Project seeks to blend multiple influences and genres into a cohesive sound. Fronted by Travis Mercer on lead vocals and guitar, OTP also showcases great harmonies from Brandon Desmond, also on guitar and vocals, uh, the band's sound is rounded out by Joe Muniz on guitar and Adam Sage on bass, with their trademark polyrhythmic patterns provided by Daniel Fuller on drums and vocals. Untied opens up with the acoustically driven tune Losing, a folksy ballad that builds instruments along the way until a full-blown story is told, with mature lyrics that reflect the passage of time. This song immediately shows the difference having some kids and living a few extra years can make on a band. Song number two is titled Having Mine, and it instantly reminded me of some great 90s bands that talked about the issues of the day, such as Soul Asylum, Tracy Chapman, and Counting Crows. With its stripped down feel and the message of its lyrics, I found myself reflecting on some life choices I made along the way. The horns were a nice touch too. Dirty Boots is next, and the band throws another level of instrumentation into the mix here with some soulful strings, swelling harmonies, and a great backbeat provided by Daniel to create an instant earworm that I couldn't stop singing all day. The next track is the title track, and it reminded me of a slower version of Maroon 5's song, Good Night, Good Night. The shortest track on the album, it still conveys a different feeling and message than the rest of the album. With lyrics like, I've got so many strings untied and every word that you said was a lie, digging into my memories of love and loss. The last song on the EP is Sunday Evening, a folksy tune returning us to the world of the first song, yet still definitely unique to itself. With lyrics like, he wants to be like a prayer, he looks down on me, and my son, you know, he looks like you. I got the feeling this song was written to a grandfather by the father of a son, and having lost both my father and grandfather, it really resonated with me. If I'm reading too much into this, Travis, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and you'll click the link in the description to buy your own copy of One Ton Project's new EP, Untied. I'm glad I got my copy right here, and I think you will too. If you know a musical act you'd like me to review, or have any comments or questions, please throw them in the comments below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. Don't forget to ring that bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6. Go get the CD.